The Supreme Court has refused to entertain a fresh police file seeking postponement of the NEET UG examinations of the National Testing Agency in wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. The police also sought reliefs like having more number of NEET exam centers and holding the eligibility test of the NEET in more than one shifts. The bench observed that they will arrange all the, to be made to the NEET exams and there cannot be different dates for different states. Also, no matter what date is fixed, there will be some difficulty. A three-judge bench of the Supreme Court has dismissed fresh pleas urging the court to reconsider the conduct of the medical entrance exam NEET on September 13, 2020. In view of the rising cases of the COVID-19 and constraints faced by students amid lockdown restrictions. The lead case of the Keshav Maheshwari was moved through advocate Alak Lok Srivastava. Two other pleas by the Arijit Sau and Pragya Pranjal have been filed through advocate Anubha Srivastava Sahai. The pleas were dismissed by a bench of justices Ashok Bhushan, Subhash Reddy and MR Shah. Senior advocates Arvind Dattar and KTS Tulsi and advocates Shoaib Alam and Neela Gokhali also appeared today on behalf of the petitioners. Concerns were raised today over the lesser number of test centers in certain states. Senior advocates Dattar pointed out that Bihar only had two centers. The court, however, responded that there cannot be different dates for different states. Whereas Dattar urged for the exam to be postponed by three weeks, the court remarked that a review plea in the matter also have been dismissed. Senior advocate Tulsi pointed out that the country is at a stage where 90,000 cases of COVID-19 are being reported daily. He also urged the top court to consider the Bombay High Court recent directions to ensure that students who are unable to appear for an entrance exam on account of the pandemic be appropriately considered. The court said that these are matters for the testing agency to examine and not for the court to pass directions on. Advocate Alam argued that the guidelines and SOPs issued for the conduct of the exam have certain lacunae. The court, however, observed that the concerned authorities will take all necessary precautions for the safety of the students. Alam urged the court for directing the local authorities to ensure that the guidelines are enforced. All this will be done, the court responded. Alam, however, pressed a further for our directions from the court on their specs, pointing out that a slight nudge from your lordship will go a long way at a time when there is a cap on large gatherings and there is a hundred of students who have to go out to take the exams. Whereas Advocate Gokhale had also sought to make submissions on the matter, the court cut short her arguments and intimated that it is not inclined to entertain the pleas. The petitions were thereafter dismissed. Bureau report.